Hey guys, many of you joined us recently for our single exhaust video. A uh, big NA focus with uh, evolution to go support for TT. I'd say in true build fashion, today we're going to focus on forced induction exhaust. So uh, in front of me I've got one of our expansion race downpipes for the VR30 DDTT. Currently, uh, market applications are going to be the Q50 and Q60 uh, from Infinity. Things are showing tremendous potential and I would say are a little underrated from the factory uh, to the pleasure of most owners. If you followed us on Facebook uh, or YouTube already, you've probably seen plenty of awesome dyno videos. Uh, these cars really laying it down and uh, most all of them well, really all the ones that land down features Z1 downpipes. Um, so we were the first to market with these. I'm pretty proud to say that. Our guys worked hard, um, had to overcome some stuff that just wasn't available off the shelf, like the custom OE fit stepped V-band flange. That's not something you can just grab outright. So we had to uh, go from scratch to design at that point. I uh, did utilize a full stainless steel mandrel bent design with a stepped <coughs> uh, expansion throat uh, really frees up and uh, reduces turbulence on the exhaust flow as well as getting rid of the factory cats there are four of them on the car in the factory that's two stacked behind each turbo uh, which are I'd say by far the biggest choke points on the car switching to the downpipes is a reasonably thorough job it's it's probably six and a half hours your first time if you're doing it uh, if you've done it a few times you probably get that you know down between four and a half five and a half hour average I'd say it uh, really just depends how lucky you get on where they clock some of those fasteners on the V-band clamp <clears throat> from the factory, which you're going to reuse. Um, we try to make mention of that in the install guide, you know, extensions and swivel type wobble sockets is something you're really going to make sure you have in your arsenal if you're tackling it yourself. <clears throat> uh, most professional installers should, of course, have all that and, um, and be able to, we think, do the job in that time. We've done it a bunch of times now. The worst it's taken us is six and a half hours. So. Uh, do you get a bit of flexibility once you've got these put onto the car? Um, as it is a V-band, you can clock the exhaust a little bit. So usually we'll center them up. They look like they should fit in the body and with you know the factory uh, Y-pack location. Uh, from that point, we'll mock the rest of the exhaust back up and get everything snug before we really lock down our V-band and then work our way back. Um, pipes do feature a uh, two and a half inch outlet standard. We do also offer a full three inch uh, variant if you're going with an off-the-shelf three inch or something custom uh, you know for, for more power as development keeps going with these cars so numbers numbers is probably something everybody wants to know about <clears throat> so uh, basically with these two red sport or silver sport models <clears throat> you know we see with the standard uh, three liter there are two power variants 300 and 400 horsepower from the factory <clears throat> that's what they claim they said it's 300 at the engine or 400 at the engine. Um, they were lying. Why you always lying? <laughs> same engine, okay. So potential in the grand scheme of things will be the same for maxing out. Difference from the baseline, we'll have a little variance. Uh, on a silver, uh, like our silver, like our white car, you found that uh, 300 was what they made pretty much at the wheels. I'm not even mad. That's amazing. <laughs> so. Uh, I think Infinity didn't miss, you know, have mystical fairy dust for no drivetrain loss. They just uh, <laughs> said, yeah, it's 300 horsepower um, and hooked us up. So <laughs> from the start, if we were on a silver sport and we throw down pipes on, usually we see gains, I'd say, you know, 45 to 65 horsepower range. Uh, some may be eclipsed a little bit beyond that. Probably not going to really see any go below that. I feel like I'm cushioning it already, so. Uh, the lower side. Uh, on a red sport, you know, it may be uh, 25 to 35 or something, but there's a reason for that. I know you're all going to be going in the comments telling me why. Everybody else. Red sports are equipped with an optical sensor on the turbo wheel. Okay? That's like the most immediate place that Infinity can keep track of what's going on with this thing and keep it in check, detune it, you know, keep those electronic wastegate actuators that control wheel speed. Uh, you know, on point. So what we find is that they don't make so much power on a red. One, they already run a little more boost, <clears throat> and they're watching that wheel speed. So when you put on a free-flowing exhaust and pull the cats off, you are taking tremendous 
you know, workload off of the wheel. The exhaust can just flow and that turbo wants to be more responsive. It's going to spool quicker, and make more power. And when it spins the wheel faster, it wants to make more boost. That's some of the power off the shoe to this is efficiency, but also boost. At the same boost, it's going to probably have a lower, uh, you know, wheel speed <coughs> or make the same power at less boost. We're never going to really go down and boost, so we're going to see more power. Even at the same boost pressure, you're going to see more power. You're going to see less heat soak and uh, and better response. But but those Red Sport models, you know, from the factory, if, if you aren't tuned or anything, they're going to be looking out. They're going to be looking to cut you back, son. And, uh, and that's just what they'll do. So don't be disappointed if you're like, oh, man, it didn't unleash the fury. We got help for that here. You can unlock it. It's okay. Uh, our buddies at UpRev have uh, finished pretty much tuning on this and continue to refine and, and offer more and more features, but uh, <clears throat> with our powers combined, right? Good. So <clears throat> I think that covers most of it. Um, loads of cars out there making great power with this. You guys know you've seen us, uh, the white car equipped with this and a, you know, a, a more free flowing exhaust that we're working on bringing to market and just the red oil cooler. That's all we've had to car. That's it. And the tune. We get John to sauce this thing up with those Nissan sprinkles, you know. And uh, we broke 600 torque at the wheels. That was it for the mods. Started at 300, broke 600. Yeah, I think everybody likes where this is going. Um, we'll keep working on developing parts. <clears throat> we'll try and abandon the use of these bad boys, of course. Uh, Y'all stay tuned. These are going to be available. Uh, try and keep them in stock, ready to ship fast as always, like all Z1 products. Kits also include gaskets, hardware. If you want to call and do a bundle with UpRev standard tune, we'll send you a cable, hook you up remotely with uh, eTune, and, uh, and get you out there. So uh, even at uh, our car, I think they pulled it back on the daily to like five, five ten or something torque. Wait, I got it written down here. We made 444 horsepower and 608 torque. That's our record number. And we pulled it back because we're respectable pump gas drivers. And that was pump gas. Uh, we we're at 428, 514. That's pretty much where we've left it. We're driving around. You drove it to events, right? Mm -hmm. Handful? Loved it. Loved it. <laughs> On Red Sports, you'll see, uh, like like I said, Red Sports usually start life around 375-ish or so. Torque's pretty square with those around the same number. Uh, their standard boost pressure is about 14.5 over a silver 11 psi. Um, so that's part of the range where you'll see that off the base, you know, gain. Uh, we do try to lay all that out before you online. The top numbers, what can they make? How far can they go? Should be pretty much the same. It's the same engine. Red got some other cool stuff. If you don't get tuned, it, it, it also came with that leash, that optical leash. So um, call us up and get you set up, down pipes, tune, get out there and bust your buddies up. All right, catch you later.